but tell me the story of how you got fired from your last job. This time, listen to yourself. I said, okay, fine, whatever. So I told her, I was bringing home the bacon. <laughs> but I was coming home fried. So this meatball stew feeds me a line about getting my piece of the pie. I said, you said a mouthful stew, but me, fat chance. He says, piece of cake. <laughs> he says he's in on a tasty deal because he's dating the top banana sun. He says she's a real dish, butter her up, the rest is gravy. I'm thinking this is something I can sink my teeth into, right? And I'm not exactly small potatoes, but I'm fudging. He says, what are you, chicken? It's like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> well, it's food for thought, and I ate it up, but I wasn't using my noodle. The whole enchilada turned out to be bologna. Stew and his honey cook up this kettle of fish so I get chewed out by the big cheese when I get my hand caught in the cookie jar. So now I'm in the soup and instead of making more dough, I fork over my job that he's turkeys. Now here is the icing on the cake. I'm leaving here, Stu and his hot tomato standing there, cool as a cucumber. She says, you got your just desserts. I said, oh sure, shove it down my throat, you tart. I just bit off more than I can chew. Chow, and that was that in a nutshell. <laughs>